is Sediac and welcome back to another episode of Shipping Lanes here in Roblox where there's been an actual huge update right now which has bought us a brand new category of ships that we can now purchase and use and sail around this glorious world. Now these ships are called heavy lift ships which I think you're meant to transport other ships. They are ships that ship ships. Wait, hold on. There are shipping ships that ship shipping ships. Wait, hold on. This is weird. This is really weird. Now, before we jump into it, guys, just to say right now, if you do enjoy Shipping Lanes and want to see more, and you do enjoy this update, smash that like button down below. Let me know if you think of it in the comment section down below. And most importantly, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. Now, if I go to purchase ships, you'll now see that we have the ability in a new category of heavy lifter ships. Not 100% sure what you're meant to be doing with all of this, but it's going to be very interesting right now. Uh, so we have the ability to get the prototype heavy lifter, which is a capacity of 200 tons, does 24 knots and 147 tons in fuel consumption. Uh, we have the Goliath heavy lifter and we have the Vanguard heavy lifter as well. Now, if you look at the bottom boys, I seem to have 666 million dollars. Don't ask me where I got it from because you won't like the answer. I had to make a sacrifice, okay? Had to make a sacrifice. But it does mean that I can afford to purchase the huge Vanguard heavy lifter. Now, from what I've seen, from what I understand in this brand new update, you're meant to carry other ships with these ships. Now, I don't know whether they're like other player ships or whether that they're just you go to a dock and pick up a ship and then transport it to a destination i don't actually know what you're meant to do with this and i don't really know how you're meant to make sweet cash money moolah with this as well it's all very interesting to say the least but like we do on every time we play shipping lanes right now before i buy that expensive ship and test out these new ships i just want to say boys uh, go to top companies full trading inc right now is still the number one company if you've not joined it right now i highly recommend joining the fools trading inc also i have two other companies the rick rolco and the kfc delivery company right now if you want to join those i don't think they're on the top leaderboards i think the rick rolco is it's number 20 wow but i don't think the kfc one's quite on the leaderboard you need 298 members the KFC one, hold on, hold on, hold on, is currently 65. Join it, see if you can get it up. But anyway, let's get to play mode. Actually, no, 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 I've got to buy the ship first. Sadie, are you going to buy the ship? The Vanguard Heavy Lifter. This is, is it the most expensive ship in the game? I think it might be the most expensive ship currently in the game. So before that, it was the Maximus, 409 million. 630. My bank account is about to cry. But you can make an approximate profit of 1.1 million per nautical mile. I might become a billionaire. What? Um, right, let's, <laughs> let's purchase this one right now. Um, we're going to call it the SS uh, Thick Boy. Because it's big. It's big. Uh, we're going to purchase it right now. Apparently, you can't have SS Thick Boy. Okay. SS uh, Chunky. Um, the Chunky Boy. Nope. Still can't have Chunky. The SS. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, damn. He. Big. <laughs> Can I have this? No. Okay. Uh, SS. Um, um, SS. Um, uh, <laughs> the name's going from my head right now. I know each and every single one of them are going to be hashtagged. But the SS! Um, uh, big boy. Right? That's, that's the, that can't be hashtagged, right? SS big. Why can I not perch? Oh, have I bought it? Have I bought it? Play? For a second there, I got scared. I thought I might have got scammed. But the SS Big has now been purchased. 
Uh, it also tells us in the new update that when it was actually built, August 2023. Everything else was built before 2024. Uh, anyway, the Vanguard Heavy Lifter, we're going to uh, spawn it in the Fools Traded Inc. Uh, livery right now. And I'll spawn it at Long Island. Now, like I said, I don't exactly know how this ultimately works, but oh my goodness me. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous right now. Um, so I could submerge the ship. And I can trans. I can do. I can manage loads. How how does this work? So, oh, okay. So you can load it up without actually going to port to dock it. What's interesting is the whole ship is based on the right hand side. That's where you sail it from. This is ridiculous, guys. This is ridiculous right now. What am I doing? Uh, let me manage the loads and let me see what's going down right now. So, it shows you how much money you can make. Twenty million. Whoa, it, to an oil rig? Is that the most I can make right now? 23 million? Um, 15, 22, 26. I might go for this 26 one. Uh, it's an oil rig. Pickup distance uh, 8.2 nautical miles. Load distance 20 nautical miles. This might be quite some distance I have to travel right now. Or do I keep it nice and simple? Let's probably keep it nice and simple. Uh, but then again, these are also just expensive. I'm going to go for this one. No. Let's go for this one. Only because of the distances we have to travel. But there's oil rigs? How long has there been oil rigs on this game? Right, well, I've accepted it. And where have I got to go to pick up right now? Oh my goodness me. So my pick off point is over in Norfolk right now. And I've got to go all the way to the drop off over there. An oil rig needs to be moved. I've got to move the oil rig. Right, let's close this. Um, right, let's turn the boat. And off we now travel. I can submerge the ship. I think that is what we do when we load up the item in question. Which for us will be the huge oil rig. Um, right, let's go. Let's go. It highlights where we've got to go in general anyway. So we've got to travel pretty much round and in is where we've got to go right now to pick up this beauty of an oil rig. Now, we are very slow and it will take us quite some time. Uh, I thought there were hot dogs then for a second. That was really weird. It looked like hot dogs on the side of my ship. But this is amazing. This is something that we have never seen before in any shipping game ever. The ability to transport other ships. I am a shipping ship about to ship shipping ships. And if you didn't understand that right now, you are no captain on a ship right now. Right, but this will take me some time. This will take me some time. So let's just wait until we get there right now and figure out how we actually load an oil rig. On my boat. I never thought I would say those words in the port area right now. I've kind of like took a little bit of a uh, little bit of a detour rather than going all the way around. But I can now see the oil rig right in front of me. Now, I don't know how this is going to play out, okay? I don't know if it's a case of I have to line it up to the side here and then kind of thrust myself into and underneath the middle of the oil rig to be able to pick it up. I don't quite know how this works, so this is going to be hilarious. It's going to be very fun, but also very hilarious all at the same time. So we're approaching it. I'm going to assume that's what we have to do. I'm going to assume that's what we have to do. So yeah, this will be very, very interesting. I'm going to start making a turn then. There we go. Nice and easy. Easy, easy, peasy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I'm going to reduce the throttle ever so slightly just so we can kind of bring the speed down so we can, you know, slow down a little bit easier when we kind of get here. I also think it's getting dark as well. That's how long it's taking me to get over to this point right now. It's getting a little bit dark. Uh, and then we're going to hopefully align up very shortly. We're going to get quite level. And as we start scheduling forward, we'll thrust ourselves over to hopefully, yeah, I'm hoping that this is how it works. It should do, right? This is should This should be how it works right now. Right, reducing the throttle, turning a bit more. Hold on, hold on. Easy, boys. Easy right now. And then we're going to bring it to a complete and utter standstill. 
So while it's doing that, then I'm going to submerge the ship. Oh, you can't can't submerge it while it's moving. Right, is that lined up? Oh, I feel like I'm not lined up very well. Let me go back a bit. Right, there we go. That's, that's enough. That's enough, boys. Right, bring it to a complete standstill. There we go. So now it's dark. And it, right, we're now going to submerge the ship, which it's now submerging. Oh, it is actually going down. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. This is weird. This I'm like a I'm like half submarine right now. Um the water should go over the body. There Oh Snap, that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. So are we now submerged. We're now submerged. This is crazy. This is crazy. How far down do we go with the submerging? I know he's got like the depths on the side just there. But how far down do we go? Right, now we have submerged. So if I now thrust myself over, it's kind of cool that it shows us the depth. Now it makes sense why the depth number's there so we know if we can submerge or not. And how deep are we? We're, wow, okay, so we're 30, about 31 meters we are right now, submerged. So we're gonna align this as center as we can. It feels like from this angle here, I'm not gonna do it. But we're doing it just just fine. Just fine, baby. Just fine. Now, I wonder if everybody else can see this. Whether it's just for me. I have no idea. No idea. But I'm skadoodling over right now. Come on. Easy, boys. Easy. Takes a lot longer than you expect, doesn't it? Uh, where's the moon, anyway? Mr. Moon, are you going down yet? Are you even in the sky yet? You are. Apparently, they've increased the day and night cycle, so it's daytime longer than it is night. Which, for me, amazing. Right, I'm now about centered, right? I'm now about centered-ish, almost. Would you say that's about centered? Let me scoot over a little bit more. I think that's about right. That's about right. So if I now unsubmerge, not aligned properly. Right, do I need to go over a little bit more? Here? We're now unsubmerging. And I think we're now in the perfect position to load up an oil rig on the ship. So we're now rising, which you should see the water now disappear. Whoa, the oil rig just, just rocked. Holy smokes. This is crazy. This is this is legit crazy. So the water's now disappearing off the uh, off the body of the boat. Off our, uh, is it the hull or the deck? What would you, what would you kind of class it as? Um, am I now good to go? No, I'm still. There we go, guys. I have an actual oil rig on my boat, and now I've got to go in that direction to drop it off. What's going on right now? Honestly, I am. This is. I have no words. This is unreal right now, and what we see, obviously. The jobs are determined on locations. I spawned in. Probably I could have spawned in at Norfolk and done this job. Making my life a little bit easier. But the money that you can make. My biggest paying job that I seen for me at that point was 26 million. What is going on? 10 of those and you got 200 million in the bank? It's ridiculous. Right, we're now going full steam ahead. And I got to be careful I don't rock too much right now because I have a whole oil rig. On the back of my boat. Is this even real life at this end? I can't see it where I'm meant to go on the map anymore. No idea what's going on just there. Uh, but the drop-off point is directly in front of me right now. Now it's daytime and we can actually see the sheer size of this right now. It's absolutely ridiculous. It has life... Is that life rafts on there as well? There's helicopter landing pads. There's like a huge crane system. Huge chains. Look at the size of those chains down the side compared to the size of my boat and even me. You know, one of those links is bigger than my Roblox character right now. What is going on? Uh, but we're not too far away anyway. We're trying to point in the right direction a little bit more. But um, it's still a, quite some distance to go. But I am expecting a big dollar payout. You know, what did I pick? Was it the 16 million that I picked? I think it was. Which, even that is still going to be probably one of the highest paying jobs that I've done in this game. These boats, while they are a lot of money, you can 
make a lot of money, which makes me wonder, in future updates, are we going to eventually see a ship over a billion dollars? That is terrifying. Um, but we've got still a little bit of a journey to go. I have no idea where this drop-off point is. Can't see it on the map. Unless it's even more... How far out can I zoom? No, I really can't see it on the map. Because I don't know where it is on the map right now, it was a complete guess to where I was going to have to go. But I think, right, if I now start reversing, which we're now... Now we're going backwards. Um, it is literally right here. It's been... It's been a long journey. A... A very long journey right now and i don't quite know how i'm going to approach doing this so turn this way a little bit the i'm gonna wait for the arrow i can't even see the arrow there we go the arrow is literally just above my head i'm gonna let it run its course now and i think we're pretty much there right right a little bit of throttle forward maximum throttle reduce it there we go. Is this it? Is this it? Do I thrust over a little bit? I'm thrusting the wrong way. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. I'm going to thrust over ever so slightly and try and get that pin more central to where I currently am. Also, the moon's going down slowly. All right. Let it thrust itself out. These aren't even real words. And am I ready then to then submerge it? We're now submerging. I think this is pretty much how we deliver it, right? Is that all I got to do? Hmm. We're going to see. I'm hoping this is all I got to do. This is this is it. And I get paid. Big stonks, baby. <laughs> um, come on. Right, it does take a while to submerge. We got to get down to like 31 feet, something like that. 31 meters. Where my current mouse is right now, that's where we got to go. That's where we got to get down to right now. Which, we're pretty much at that point. Or do we go lower? For, oh, it's 32 at the moment. So, are we then done? Can I then, like, unload it? Have I done this? Yeah? Do I? Oh, hang on. I need to thrust out, don't I? Right. I, oh, no, 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 no. Don't go forward. Don't go forward. Because I'm gonna hit. I'm probably hitting the back of it right now, aren't I? I think I then leave it there and then move out the way, and I've delivered. I've actually delivered an oil rig. What is going on when your boy has delivered an oil rig? Right, easy, easy, easy. I'm almost out, boys. I'm almost out. It takes longer than you expect. This does. It does take longer than you expect. But I want to see the cash go in the bank, okay? I want to see the cash go in the bank right now. So a little bit more further over. A little bit more further over right now. And I'll let it run its course right now with the uh, the thrusting. And then we'll unsubmerge ourselves. So we're now unsubmerging. It does take a minute or two. It's, it's gone very foggy, hasn't it? It has gone very foggy. We can just about see what's going down right now. Just about. Right, we're almost there. What is our current meters in, in the air? 20, 20 meters up right now. We've still got a long way to go. Still got a long way to go. But the water's now off. I'm almost unsubmerged. I can now see the false trading ink on the side of the ship. And... Are we done? Are we done? Did I get paid? Did I get paid? I did, didn't I? Because I now got 53 million. At what point did I get paid? At what point did I get paid right there? I've been paid! But at what point did I get paid? I have no freaking idea. But other stuff that you can deliver. You can deliver triple E sterns. You can deliver damaged ships as well. There's oil rigs. There's so much stuff that you can deliver on this. It is absolutely ridiculous. Now the oil rig has disappeared. It has gone into oblivion. And I am nowhere to proceed on the edge of the map. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Will you be grinding to buy this ship? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy it, smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye.